Hello, Steve Mills here and thanks ever so much for listening to this short video. Today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of creating a fantastic first impression. Uh, about nine or ten months ago, I uh, met a gentleman uh, who sat with me today called Tim Solway of Solway's Printers. And Tim sent me uh, a marketing pack and in it there was a business card this business card and uh, whilst it's very difficult to really you know get the a, a good feel as to what this business card's like it was i believe probably the best business card i've ever seen and uh, i contacted tim and we we, we spoke uh, and, and instantly got on very well i think yep. and uh, I, i've asked him to come uh, today to share uh, some of his thoughts about creating a first impression, why business cards are so important to any business, and uh, what he can do to, to help you improve uh, the, the branding and perception of your, of your business. So, um, firstly, the business card, Tim. Why, why do you think it is so important to have uh, a real top-notch card? Well, well thank you, Steve. Um, We've seen technology change over the last five to ten years and really the email and, and internet marketing have come around and so really paper has taken a bit of a dive in terms sure. of its use. Yeah. And the way we talk to our customers and win customers, uh -huh. paper plays less a feature. Yeah. So really we're left with the business card, which in my opinion, Steve, is the most important part of a business communication device. Uh -huh. I agree. You walk into a room mm -hmm. and you exchange business cards and it has to make the right impression. I agree, yeah. And, and what makes my card uh, different from others is that it's got a, a very thick impact in, and construction to the, to the printed card. And that's what makes it different. You don't even have to look at the card. Mm -hmm. As soon as you receive it in the hands, you can have a look. The recipient yeah. is impressed by the thickness of the card. Uh -huh. And with good design and good branding and good manufacturing techniques that are used on this card, we can create the best card anybody could want for their business. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what makes it special. Right, right, okay. Yeah, it was uh, interesting. I was just, just talking to Tim saying that th this morning I, I did a little exercise with a group of businesses and uh, there were 10 businesses in the room and I th threw a load of business cards on the table and I said, you know, which business here do you perceive as being the best? And universally, every single one of them Pick Tim's business, pick your business, Tim. And uh, if you think about that, you know why was that? Why was it? They had no clue. They didn't know you, but purely because of the quality of this, it's almost like the touchy feely side of it because it is such a quality card that you use, and the the way you've got it embossed and things. Um, people believe that you ran a great business, even though they didn't know you. And I'm sure that actually works in reverse. If you've got an awful business card, you might run a fantastic business, but people think, mm, yeah, mm, not sure about this company because their cards uh, are, are so poor. So if somebody wants a, a, a top quality business card like that, what do they do, Tim? Well, they can get in touch with Solways. Mm -hmm. They can talk to us or they can ask their design or branding consultant to get in touch www.solways.co.uk and we'd be delighted to talk to them and, and, and help them create a fantastic business card. Fantastic. And do you have a telephone number people can contact? I do indeed. 0207 mm -hmm. 407 2875. Thank you very much, Tim. And thanks ever so much for listening to the short video. I'll speak to you on the next one.